Hey guys, Kevin here to bring you a brand new video where today we're going to be doing day 31 of Horror October 2022. And the film that we're going to be talking about today is a film that uh, a lot, a lot of people know and has a big legacy attached to it. And um, somehow I haven't seen and a lot of people would be shocked to, to find out that I haven't seen this movie. As a, as a big horror fan, I haven't seen this movie. And that is The Exorcist from 1973. This is probably one of the only, like, classic big-name horror movies that I haven't seen. Like, you could name any other, like, classic older horror movie, and I've seen it. I've seen it. Like, any, like, fairly, any, like, big, well-known horror movie, I've seen from like the 80s or 70s, I've seen. Um, but this one I hadn't. Um, and yeah, I am really glad I finally decided to see this. Um, because, you know, there are some genuinely very horrific moments created here that are so well done, especially for its time. It's just, it's insane to me that this film was made in 1973, like, what they were able to achieve um, with this film, with the effects of, like, um, this, like, demon possessing this girl is, like, groundbreaking. Like, uh, I don't say that word, but it's groundbreaking um, what they did back in this time um, with, like, you know, the, <laughs> the head spinning, um, the walking down the stairs thing um t to name a few things i mean yeah they just they they're so good at um creating horror um even back in this time and along with that um they really went out to create like a very detailed story um as far as really like fleshing out the characters and like showing you like who they are and like what they have to offer and um like where they come from um and then you know that kind of like makes the the terror of it like even better um because you like you have a feel for like like who these people are and now you see that they're going through this and you can kind of like um i guess like feel like empathy in a way for them and yeah overall it just it's really well thought out um, to really, like, you know, give you this whole story of this girl who's essentially, you know, becoming possessed, um, and, you know, they're trying to figure out, like, what's wrong with her, and, like, the mother's concerned, and, you know, things start to get worse, and, yeah, I mean, it's all just, it's all there, um, as far as, like, this whole thing with, um, this girl. I mean, it's just like the level of detail here is just so, so good. I mean, compared to like, like newer, like, um, possession movies, like that, I don't even know, just, they, they don't take any time to like iron out details like this. Um, they're just like, girl is possessed, uh, time to do an exorcism. You know, these, these are the characters, they, they moved into this house and now, you know, this girl is possessed, and this is what she's going through, this is the horror, like, you know, and there's, there's just not, like, any, like, meat to it, like, like, this has, like, meat to it, as far as, like, um, like, a story, really, and, um, I, I really, uh, I really appreciated it for that, um, and, you know, Ellen Burstyn, who I really, really liked in Requiem for a Dream, uh, much, you know, more recent film than this, um, is really good in this, um, she plays, like, this, like, you know, very concerned mother who, who, like, deeply cares for her daughter, and you can really, like, feel it, like, um, in her performance, and I, I really appreciated that, and also Linda Blair, like, shoutouts to Linda Blair for, like, for, like, just going all out in this movie, because, like, she's just, like, a little girl, and she's the one being possessed, Linda Blair, and, like, she has to do, like, all these, like, things, um, you know, as this, like, 
you know, thing, um, which is just like, that's got to be like so much um, because she did so much um, to like help make this creepy too um, with like her smile and like, you know, the creepy smile. Um, everybody's seen that. Um, I don't know like who's watching this who may have not seen the film, but I mean, I guess you never know. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, anyone watching this I have a feeling anyone watching this would know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I just really had a good time with it. I mean, it is two hours and 12 minutes long. Um, the normal version's two hours and two minutes long. Um, but I watched uh, this uh, extended director's cut, um, which adds like 10 minutes. And, you know... I mean, I'm sure I would still say the same thing about it, regardless of whether which version I watched. But, you know, I feel like, like, everything in this story feels, like, connected. But at the same time, like, certain things just don't feel, like, necessary for the movie. Um, you know, like, watching it through, like, towards the end, like they started to like make connections to like, you know, things we found out along the way. Um, like as the film progresses, you slowly like learn more and more about like these characters and you know, th there's some like callbacks to like different things, um, with the characters. And I'm like, okay, I mean like, yeah, I mean, I guess it all, it's all connected. It's all, it's all there as far as like, um, like understanding this whole story um nothing feels i guess nothing feels like out of place um but at the same time like i just feel like not everything to this movie is essential i guess is my big thing with it and yeah uh there there was times there was times i will say when you know i just I wasn't that into this movie, like, like, where, like, um, there's parts where I'm just like, uh, why is this, why am I watching this, like, like, why are they showing me this, like, I don't know, but, you know, maybe, maybe if I rewatched it, you know, I would see, you know, the, the other things and be like, oh, well, that's why they're showing me that, because of, you know, X, Y, Z later, um, kind of thing, but, yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. I feel like they could have, like, you know, cut some things out. But, you know, that's just the movie as a whole, you know, uh, being what it is altogether. And, you know, I, I respect it for that. I respect, you know, you know, the director, William Freakin, for, you know, compiling it all together in this sort of way to, to tell this whole coherent story, kind of. Um, I do respect them for that, but... Yeah, I'm going to give this um, an 8 out of 10, though, for now. But you never know. It could change. I might, maybe I'll bump it up to a 9 on a rewatch. But yeah, for now, I'm going to give it an 8. But yeah, uh, really great film. Glad I finally watched. Hope you guys have enjoyed Horror October 2022. And I'll see you guys in the next one.